Hi everyone, thanks for joining us at our virtual community science workshop. My name is Mr. G and today we're going to be building a Phenakista scope. Keep in mind Ms. Shaver is the one building the project in this video. Imagine this light flashing and it's flashing more than 30 times a second. Notice how you see a steady light? You don't notice any flickering. When movies play at movie theaters, the screen is dark about half the time, but because the bright picture is flickering 72 times a second, we don't notice the moment of darkness between the pictures and our brains perceive neural movement. This is called the persistence of vision, or in Spanish, persistencia de la visión. That's pretty much the basis for how the Pinaquisiscope works. The materials we're using to build our Pinaquisiscope are a dowel, a pushpin, a cork, and a cardstock printout that came with your kit, which has an image of a galloping horse and also a blank template so that you could draw your own design. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut out the galloping horse design along the outer circle on the cardstock printout. Go ahead and cut out the slits that are marked with a dashed line. Now, if you wanna draw your own design, draw it in the spaces of the blank template using the pencil first, then trace over it with a dark pen or marker. De ruge su propio diseño en los círculos de la catolina en blanco usando un lápiz. Okay, now let's go ahead and add the dowel into the cork. Inserte la clavilla en el hoyo del corcho. Let's now push this pushpin through the black dot on the center of the cardstock printout and into the cork. Adjust the pushpin so that the cardstock is able to spin in a circle like a pinwheel. Inserte el pasado por el punto negro al centro de la catolina y sujetelo al corcho. Face the mirror with the Phenakista scope so that the galloping horse design is visible in the mirror. Look through the slit and focus on one horse. Close one eye and spin the cardstock circle to view the optical illusion. You can change designs by removing the pushpin and galloping horse cardstock printout and repeating step 3 using the design that you created. Ponga su Phenakista scopio en frente de un espejo. El diseño debe reflejarse en el espejo. Mirando por una de las redigías, tenga su vista vieja en uno de los caballos, cierre un ojo y guíe la catalina para ver la ilusión óptica. Puede cambiar el diseño dando el pasado y ya. As the cardstock circle rotates, the open slits move quickly past your eye. When you see an image through the slit, then quickly see another one, your eye and brain remember the first picture for a split second, then blend it with the second one. This is called persistence of vision, and that's what makes the pictures in the movies seem to move. In Spanish, you would say, persistencia de la visión. Motion pictures are based on an optical illusion. Just another case where seeing is believing. To understand how we see, let's turn the tables on the human eye and look at it instead of through it. The light reflected by any object we look at passes through the lens of the eye and is focused upside down on the sensitive surface called the retina. This retina passes the impression onto the optic nerve which sends it to the brain and we see it right side up. The reflection will stay on the retina as long as the object is in view. When we look away, or take the object away, the images disappear. But notice that the image in the brain does not disappear immediately. It fades a fraction of a second after the object is removed. This slow fading is called persistence of vision. TVs and movies consist of images flashed 60 to 72 times per second. Your eye and brain blend the images together and create the appearance of continuous motion. When we experience a distortion of our vision and see something that is different from reality, that is called an optical illusion. Or we could say it in Spanish, ilusión óptica. Let's look at a picture of a car and a picture of a moving landscape to show how the eye can make them seem to overlap. Let's run them on the screen, one after the other. We look at them for two seconds each. Then for one second each. Now, faster and faster until we see the two pictures as if they were both one picture. Another optical illusion. During the building process, be careful pushing the pushpin into the cork. The pushpin is sharp and could cause injury. When spinning the Phenakista scope, ensure it is far enough from your face that it does not hit your face or eye as if this may cause injury. 
Now I got a couple questions for you to think about as you experiment with your phenakisoscope. What happens to a galloping horse when you spin your phenakisoscope in the opposite direction? ¿Qué sucede al caballo en galope cuando giras tu phenakisoscopio en la dirección opuesta? Are you better able to see the optical illusion if you spin your phenakisoscope more quickly or more slowly? Think about that. ¿Cuándo crees que puedes ver la edición óptica mejor? ¿Cuándo giras tu phenakisoscopio más rápido o más lento? Comment below with your thoughts and ideas and remember to like this video and subscribe to our CSW network for new virtual STEM lab projects. You can also visit our website at cswnetwork.org for free access to our project library. This is Mr. G. Until next time, we'll see you in the next project.